China has officially declared that a new space race with the United States has begun, marking a historic shift in global space dynamics. The China National Space Administration CNSA has announced that over the next 20 to 30 years, China's International Lunar Research Station will compete with the U.S. Artemis program for dominance on the Moon. This competition, centered around the Moon's South Pole, will focus on technological and operational superiority. In this video, we'll dive into China's bold declaration, their recent lunar achievements, and the implications of this new space race. Stay tuned to learn why this new space race is so important and how it will unfold in the coming years. China's space agency, the China National Space Administration, CNSA, has recently made a groundbreaking announcement. For the first time, they have officially acknowledged the United States as a competitor on the moon. This is a significant departure from their previous stance of non-competition. The CNSA's statement highlights that over the next 20 to 30 years, China's International Lunar Research Station and the U.S. Artemis program will compete on technology and operational efficiency. This competition will be centered at the moon's South Pole, a region rich in resources. One of the key developments leading up to this declaration was the successful Chang'e 6 mission. Launched on May 3rd, the Chang'e 6 spacecraft was tasked with retrieving new samples from the Moon's far side. This mission is monumental as it marks the first time any nation has successfully completed such a task. The spacecraft landed on the Moon, collected samples, and safely returned to Earth, landing in the Inner Mongolian region of China. This achievement not only demonstrates China's technological prowess, but also sets the stage for more ambitious lunar missions in the future. In April, the CNSA unveiled a comprehensive lunar plan titled the Strategic Concept of Resource Utilization Development Route of the International Lunar Research Station. This plan, led by mission scientist Pei Zhouyu, outlines China's strategy for utilizing lunar resources and competing with the U.S. Pei emphasized that the focus of the competition would be on the utilization of lunar resources, a critical area where China aims to gain an edge. The strategic concept represents a shift in China's space policy, moving from a secretive approach to a more transparent and competitive stance. China's strategic goals in this new space race are ambitious and clearly defined to establish a significant presence on the moon and harness its valuable resources. The strategic concept of resource utilization development route, unveiled by the CNSA, outlines the primary objective of utilizing lunar resources. These resources, including water, ice, and rare minerals, are essential for sustaining long-term lunar missions and potentially supporting missions to Mars and beyond. The South Pole of the Moon, where both China and the U.S. are focusing their efforts, is particularly abundant in these resources, making it a key battleground in this new space race. On the other hand, the United States, through its Artemis program, also has grand plans for lunar exploration. The Artemis program aims to return humans to the moon by 2025 and establish a sustainable presence by the end of the decade. This involves constructing a lunar gateway and a base camp near the South Pole. NASA Administrator Bill Nelson has acknowledged the competitive nature of this endeavor, stressing the importance of the U.S. maintaining its leadership in space exploration. He warned that China could potentially claim strategic areas on the moon under the guise of scientific research, highlighting the geopolitical stakes involved. Both nations are heavily focused on advancing their technological capabilities and operational efficiency. For China, missions like Chang'e 6, which successfully retrieved samples from the moon's far side, demonstrate their growing expertise and ambition in lunar exploration. They are actively developing new technologies for lunar landings, resource extraction, and long-term habitation. Conversely, the U.S. is leveraging its extensive experience from past lunar missions and fostering new technologies through partnerships with private companies like SpaceX and Blue Origin. This competition is expected to drive innovations in spacecraft design, robotics, and sustainable living on the moon. As China and the U.S. pursue these strategic goals, the competition will likely intensify, driving both nations to achieve unprecedented milestones in space exploration. This rivalry not only represents a quest for technological and operational supremacy, but also underscores the broader geopolitical implications of space dominance in the 21st century.
The new space race between China and the U.S. is set to significantly shape global space policies and the future of space exploration. As both nations vie for dominance on the moon, there will be a push for international agreements and regulations to govern lunar activities. This competition may lead to the creation of new treaties or modifications of existing ones, such as the Outer Space Treaty. The need for clear guidelines and cooperation will be paramount as the geopolitical stakes rise. Countries might form alliances and collaborations to advance their space agendas, reflecting the broader geopolitical implications of this rivalry. The scientific and technological advancements resulting from this renewed focus on lunar exploration are expected to be profound. The competition will spur innovations in various fields, including spacecraft technology, robotics, artificial intelligence, and sustainable living in space. These advancements will not only benefit lunar missions, but also have broader applications for Earth and other space endeavors. For instance, the technology developed for lunar resource extraction could be used for asteroid mining or Mars missions. Additionally, the scientific knowledge gained from studying the Moon's geology and environment will enhance our understanding of the solar system and potentially lead to new discoveries. The economic and political ramifications of the new space race are considerable. The competition for lunar resources could lead to the development of a space-based economy, with significant investments in space mining and manufacturing. This could create new industries and job opportunities, driving economic growth. Politically, the competition will influence global power dynamics as nations seek to assert their dominance in space. The success or failure of lunar missions will be seen as indicators of national strength and technological prowess. As China and the U.S. push the boundaries of space exploration, the world will be closely watching, with potential shifts in alliances and rivalries. The new space race between China and the U.S. is more than just a technological and operational competition. It represents a critical juncture in the future of space exploration. The implications for global space policies, scientific advancements, and economic and political landscapes are profound. As we witness this thrilling rivalry unfold, humanity's quest to conquer the moon and beyond reaches new heights, promising exciting developments and challenges ahead. In summary, the new space race between China and the U.S. is a thrilling and significant development in the realm of space exploration. China's official declaration marks a bold shift in their space policy setting the stage for a fierce competition with the U.S. The recent success of the Chang'e 6 mission and the unveiling of China's strategic lunar plan highlight their ambitions and capabilities. As both nations focus on utilizing lunar resources and advancing their technological and operational efficiency, the implications for the future are profound. This new era of space exploration promises to drive scientific and technological advancements, shape global space policies, and impact economic and political landscapes. Stay tuned as we witness this exciting journey unfold and humanity's quest to conquer the moon reaches new heights. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more updates on space exploration and scientific discoveries. See you next time.